The U.S. military has uh, several airborne units. We flew out of Anchorage, Alaska. Flight took about 19 hours. Well, the purpose of an airborne unit is to be able to jump in like we just did. We didn't have to drive out here. We just dropped in real close and we have all our gear and we're ready to go. Uh, right now we're out at the drop zone where the c 17s teams have been um, dropping all their men. The first C-17 that came through dropped uh, water rations, food, ammunition, re-ration all of our troops, give, it, give them everything they need in those hard to get locations. Um, it, was, it was pretty cool to see how the C-17s work. It's good to see how other nations, how they work compared to how we work at home. It's been a good learning curve. So air mobile operations deliver troops around the battlefield to where they're needed in support of the commander's objective. So what we're doing here today is uh, moving elements of the 325th Infantry Brigade. We've got 170 troops to move roughly. Uh, we're using four helicopters to support that. So for tactical transfer from uh, airfield to airfield within the battle space, the uh, C-130 was used today uh, to pick up larger amounts of troops for the admin moves. So for air mobile operations in the normal sense, we would have a lift flight, which is the NH-90s and MRH-90s that you see behind us and uh, we would be escorted by RH Tiger. So one of the key uh, things that the NH90 brings to the table is the ability to lift an entire company in a very short time frame. Uh, we typically take about 12 troops with all their gear, or for assault operations we can take up to 18 troops. The general instruction before any of the cold load training was good. We did a lot of movement, um, everyone had the opportunity to go through. So. Our packs were a little too large for what they originally planned, but still worked out comfortable in the end. Very similar to what we normally fly, which is UH-60s, Blackhawks. Arrangement slightly different, but power capability for personnel seem pretty similar. A lot of our standard operating procedures and uh, tactics have been similar to the Australians for a long time, and we do exercise with them on a regular basis. This is the first time that we've done so with the NH-90, however, being the same as the Australian MRH-90 helicopter enables us to integrate into the ANZAC battle group a lot easier so that we can uh, gain efficiencies in our operations in the battle space.